you allow your itemization, you get the reactive armor against what's a very physical damage based draft with Slazo Life Shield. Yeah, I've been having something good here. And that's why. Super heading across, and they do have backup as well. They look to try and lean in with the Dragon Tail, stealing the Invis rune. Maybe. Keep going up to the high ground, but the kinetic field and the static storm drop down by DDC. The backup will be there for Victoria, but he's yet to hit level six. No false promise, but it looks like he's not needed. Maybe able to turn around with the Shakram onto Yao, coming in with a two man crush. But LGD there, fine, and it's going to be Slardar losing his life. LFY paying the price here, and LGD are moving forward for more. They've got eyes on Jijiao. The stun for Jijing isn't going to connect, but Arme continues to chase down with the Shikuchi. They'll hold him in place there as Victoria's there with the backup. LGD. And shall we ready to wrap around from the top side? He does have Lasso available, but no Firefly for an 8. I'm going to try for it, but Victoria is there, and as I said, the False Promise is always going to be available. They do have to lock down on the Lasso to drag him back. Maybe he could play his way out of this, though. No damage is pretty much taken off that False Promise because of the regen that he has. They just can't bring him down, and now LGD, they've brought over the backup. Super will hold back Jijing with the Dragon Tail. Maybe Timber chaining across, looking for blood, focusing down on Jijiao with this full old Shakram, pulls it back in, takes down the Batrider, and maybe surviving for it all. And as we're seeing, LFY, they just don't have the tools to bring down this Timbersaw at this stage of the game, and maybe he's not done. He's going to be back in with the Shakram. GG will get taken down by the Crush. Amplify from Yao. Now GG now on the retreat. They've lost one for one, and he glimpses back on Tarmain. In fact, Arme, he's had a man crushed up, and they've lost the Weaver. That was not what LGD wanted to happen off the back of that one. They just backed up by Yao and TDC. Never to try again with a bit of a glimpse into a Crush of sorts, but... Victoria's there to purge off the Amplifier. We'll still get Glimpse back in again with the Static Storm. They're going to try and go for round two, but again, Victoria's there with a the False Promise. They get the follow through Lasso, holding him in place, but again, have they actually got the damage to bring him down? They do punish it by killing off the Oracle, but they aren't killing this Timbersaw. Again, another Kinetic Field. They have Amplify on him, but a full Shagram and a good stuff for Gigi holding, and in the midst of it, brings him incredibly low. He'll be able to have Rage and Arm. They told his way out of it all. Maybe again being this bad. They want to kill this Timbersaw so damn bad with the Amplifier. They made him go to do it. No, he's still alive. Surely he dies here. He will finally fall. But it takes so much effort there from LFY. But it is a big kill to finally get. It was very smart. Uh, LFY. They're getting more by looks of it as well. Yeah, with these glimpse was... plays from DDC bringing in XZ as well. The amp, I would say, like all very good spells. They're going for this play again. Using maybe trying to bait LFY in for a bit of a jump. LGD already looking for the wraparound, but there's a sentry jail. They've got the eyes of the They have to use the false promise to keep the Nyx assassin alive. Static Storm as well, clipping both of them. They've taken down Victoria. They'll turn towards Gigi as well. They'll die post false promise. They may have got the tower, but they've lost two heroes and they may even lose more. Uh, Yao unable to hit the crush though. With the glimpse already used, the rest of LGD will be able to retreat. You know, to, to swing the momentum back in favor of LGD. And at the moment, definitely LFY with the lead. Maybe actually just walls it straight in. There will be TPs across, and they're going to start to force LFY back. Focusing Super down first, and coming in on the front lines. And uh, Victoria has to false promise himself to keep himself alive. Yao coming in with a four-man crush. There's no follow-up at the moment, though, from LFY. And now Yao in a bit of a tricky position himself, maybe. Jumping across with the timber trade. Looking to finish off Yao. He's getting himself away there with the crush and the run. Held in position by Victoria. One more Shakram should do it, so maybe. Straight after picking up the Bloodstone, able to get himself a charge in the bank. Jijing, he's actually looking for more here. Coming around the back lines, eyes onto Xiaowei and onto Super. On the low ground, maybe. See if he can get a jump across, and he's going to look towards and and starting to chomp down. Not popping the rage yet. So good chance for Jijin to come immediately out of the invis with the stun, but and oh, he doesn't quite die. He gets the rage and the armor. Oh, Xiaowei is there with the back of the lasso onto maybe, and the life stealer surviving for the time being as he jumps into the bat. I mean, Xiaowei, he's had a remarkable game one, and here in game two, he's find anything indeed with that smoke. LFY is still in a potential position to make a jump themselves. DDC, even though we're getting a bit of vision, super pots the dragon form turns towards maybe Jijing, still under the cover of Vendetta, and looking for some kind of a counter play. They're trying to find DDC on the sidelines, but he gets the static shot down onto the Weaver. Victoria's there, there with the backup, keeping the Weaver alive with the false promise. Maybe he chops down from the midst of the mall, and he's found the kill on to Disruptor, the first casualty on LFY. Maybe Timber chaining away, and it looks like it will just end up as a that, but these sort of little fights where maybe he's able to pick up an if that's worth the positioning and 
these uh, okay maybe maybe he's out in front he pops the smoke yeah, and the jump in static storm will catch out gg they'll jump in first down the victoria oracle and that's the big kill to the final the start victoria's been saving a lot of heroes in these fights this time he's not going to get the chance to they've lost two gg is going to buy back but maybe it's well to fall lfy finding three kills out of this one and maybe even more gg trying to get himself back into the stone to hold back lfy's on top of the jump in from yao is a three-man crush xg he's going to fall and it's going to be a die back for gg LFY absolutely doing it here. They'll go for the TP out. Xiao Eight makes it away as well. Man. All five man. If they can get the jump on Victoria Search, it's gonna be so hard. Girls, you need to turn this one around. The lead in here from Zhao Super. Maybe he's gonna jump back first. Spike Harris will come back out, but the static storm's there, trapping the Nyx assassin and will take him down. They found Victoria as well on the back lines. The two heroes that are crucial for the fight to find at the start of this fight. XC is gonna be the third to be focused down. The crush holding maybe in place. He loads off himself. It isn't gonna save him from the right clicks of then as maybe falling down low, burned down by the fire of the dragon. Super able to pick up the fourth there and form and the live stealer with the deso and hyperstone at this stage there's no lack of pushing power from lfy maybe try and come forward with the lotus sword making sure there's hard to hard to be glimpsed back army's gonna go for a bit of a split again on the top lane similar to what we saw in terms of playstyle in game one they're gonna fire blast to hold back the dragon the shakram actually bringing end down low but yao's there he jumps inside blinks away takes the live stealer back to safety super just bkb his tp's back out army was actually able to finish off the bat though he came back jowie looking for the defense was able to ward army away actually playing with his life and no oh, yao coming with a surprise and oh, no they get revenge they may have lost the director but building bkb is, is the right solution I, I guess at some point you do in middle lane he just dies to another infest bomb just this, in a matter of seconds to crush this vision this pickoff potential end and yao consistently finding things in, and it's a big big pickoff as indeed as well to have this stage because he's out for a full minute arme no way that he can help the lineup out as LFY coming in with this heavy push on the bottom lane, maybe trying to draw their attention away from the wreck, but Xiao Wei immediately in and gets Victoria. The pickoff that he needs each and every time. Static Storm controlling maybe. They've lost three on LGD. It's 27 to 7. Xe is glimpsed back. He loses his life as well, and GG is called. It's all too much here for LGD's original squad. And it'll be LFY moving on as the last representative Chinese side here at the Boston Major Band.